In the Middle East now taking a personal toll on one DeKalb community. A 20-year-old woman from Dunwoody was killed while serving in Israel. Atlanta News First reporter Brittany Ford joining us live at 5 from Dunwoody High School just north of Atlanta. And Brittany, you were able to speak with school administrators and they are honoring that former student. Well, Tracy, yeah, this news has rocked this entire community. Tonight we spoke with some of her former coaches who are shedding light on the impact this young woman had on this campus. 20 year old Rose Lubin was an all star athlete at Dunwoody High School from the wrestling team. Well, she wasn't only wrestling girls, she was wrestling guys too, but absolutely it takes guts. I mean, just to get out there and wrestle, and she's never wrestled before. To flag football. She was probably one of the, the toughest. I'm not even going to say girls around, but she was one of the toughest people around. She always had a smile on her face, very smart, and she was a, a, a go-getter. And cheerleading. When everybody else would get discouraged, she'd be like, no, no, come on, we can do this. Those who coach the class of 2021 graduates say she left her mark on campus. She was a gift to all of us for the years we had her. Her life cut short while serving as a member of Israel's Border Patrol Police. But I love everyone. <laughs> Thank you for the support. Yeah. According to Israeli press, Lubin was killed during a stabbing attack that occurred near one of the border gates in Jerusalem Monday. Her death among thousands as the Israel-Hamas war intensifies. Those who knew and loved her say she was living her dream. From the day I met her, she told me she was going to Israel, that when she graduated, that's what she was doing. Finding peace that she died doing what she loved. Rose is fine. She's in a great place. But for her family and for everybody else, it's such a senseless tragedy because she had so much to offer the world. Now, I spoke with Lubin's family, who is currently traveling to lay her to rest. Funeral services are set for Thursday in Jerusalem. We're live in Dunwoody. Brittany Ford, Atlanta News First.